while upgraded versions of the Mirage 2000 remain in constant use with the French Air Force. The French naval air arm, the Aeronaval, has recently received some of France's next innovative warplanes, the Dassault Rafale. It will replace as many as eight of the existing types currently in service with the French Air Force and Aeronaval. The development suffered from defense cuts caused by the end of the Cold War, but the program is now back on track. Rafale represents the jewel in the French aerospace industry. The aircraft introduces a range of formidable technical advances, all of which have been developed by French companies. Like the other superfighters, Rafale is designed to bring warfighting up to a new level. This is thanks to the fusion of data from the aircraft's sensors, radar, optronics, and countermeasures. The data is sorted and presented to the pilot in such a way that he can concentrate on managing the tactical battle rather than on monitoring systems. The Rafale's RBE-2 multi-mode phased array radar is the first in Europe with two-plane electronic scanning. The radar can pick up up to eight targets simultaneously and provides threat identification and is able to prioritize them. The pilot is equipped with an advanced helmet that has sight and display. OSF is a jam-resistant passive optronic surveillance and imaging system with laser rangefinder. The optronic suite carries out search, target identification, telemetry, and automatic target discrimination and tracking all without emitting telltale signs. The smart electronic warfare system, called Spectra, can automatically detect hostile radars or missiles and launch decoys and other countermeasures. The Aeronaval's pressing need to replace its veteran F-8 Crusaders meant that it has become the first service to operate Rafale. The service is acquiring 60 navalized fighters in a mix of single-seat Rafale M's and two-seat Rafale N's. These will operate from the new carrier Charles de Gaulle. The Armée de l'Air is now receiving limited numbers of its first Rafales. It plans to buy around 230 of them, the majority of which will be the two-seat Rafale B. These will be in several progressive standards. F1, optimized for the air-to-air -air role. F2, with improved air-to-surface capability. And the definitive Rafale F3, with improved radar and engines. Called Operation Global Punch, this plan has been put together recently as part of Dassault's marketing efforts to sell the Rafale. It illustrates the multi-role competency of the two primary combat versions, the naval single-seat Rafale M and the Air Force's two-seat Rafale B. It has now become prohibitively expensive for individual nations to pursue their own national fighter programs. Gripen and Rafale will almost certainly be the last two major combat aircraft to be developed by a single European nation. 